Good morning, y'all. It's almost afternoon. It's Monday. And um, y'all may wonder why I make so many videos in my van. And the reason is this. While I really, really appreciate my room and my bathroom, I just can hardly stand to be in there. Um, I can't open the blinds in my room because it looks out right on a sidewalk where people are coming and going all day long. That's not comfortable for me or them. Um, Terry has the TV on from the time he gets up until he goes to bed at night. I never was a daytime television person. Maybe briefly for a year or two, I seem to remember my sister and I used to watch a couple of the little soap operas, um, The Young and the Restless or The Needy and the Downtrod. I, I don't know. But we would, during the commercials, speed clean her house. Now, why weren't we at my house doing that? Well, one, I didn't really have much to do because I kept up with mine. And she had two little children, my niece and nephew, and I didn't have any kids. So anyway, um, hearing the television going all the time drives me nuts. The price is right, the third door. I, I don't know what all those things are called, but um, the only one that I could stand to watch is Jeopardy. Now, my sister, you guys, that woman should have been on Jeopardy. She knew most of that stuff. Anyway, I'm going to do a little mail call. And one of the cards I'm not going to be able to show you because when I picked these up, I must have left one on the bed. Now, you'll know who you are because you sent me one of these little things and it had Starbucks on it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I'm gonna show you the other three cards that I got and then uh, talk about a couple other things. I hope only a couple other things. Okay, I'm gonna show you these first they are works of art, you guys. The things they do over in other countries, um, especially, and I don't want to be politically incorrect, but I'm going to say Asian countries. Does that cover Japan and, and Korea and places like that? I hope it does. But anyway, these three cards were sent to me from Christy, and she lives in Korea. Y'all, blows my socks off when I get stuff from countries so far away. Um, it just, it's amazing to me. How does anybody in Korea start watching <laughs> my channel? But I'm very thankful and feel very blessed that you do. Now, get a load of these cards, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? And look at this on the back. Just blows me away. Here's another one. I hope y'all can see this. And this is the back. So, so beautiful. And look at this, you guys. Can you make out the little pink uh, star right there? And then it has a little doodangy right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, y'all, you know that I've said I was going to put all my cards up and I was going to have like a wall of cards. You guys, I have so many 
beautiful, wonderful cards. And I want to tell you, I wouldn't care if you sent me a folded piece of paper with a little note on it. It would be, oh, shoot, I'm going to talk to my doctor about this crying thing. <laughs> it would still be just as precious to me. Okay. But anyway, I, I can't just go through and pick out the little works of art and do all of that because I would never want to hurt anyone's feelings. So until I get my own apartment and I can put them all up on my living room wall, I'm not going to do it at this time. But let me tell you, some of these cards will knock your socks off. Okay, now... This beautiful Christmas card is from Alyssa in Maryland. And I don't know, can you guys see the sparkly? I mean, when they do that, oh, there it is. See that sparkly? It makes you feel like you're there. Like you are in all that snow. That's my favorite kind of way to feel that way because then I don't have to deal with the cold. And y'all know I don't like that. Okay, now this one is from Mark, M-A-R-C, mind you, and he's in Santa Ana. Now check out that little card. Is that not adorable? It is. I don't know. There, can you see the, the strokes in it, the feathery strokes and everything? That is so beautiful. And enclosed in the card was this. It's a little scratch off. And so when I scratched it off, it looks like I won $10. Now, you guys, I'll split that in half, and I will put it in my little stockings. Thank you, Mark. I so appreciate this. I just have to figure out where do I redeem it. Probably any little store that sells lottery tickets. I don't know, but I will find out. So, thank you all so much for your cards. Now, I do have a package and I'll be picking that up tomorrow because I have a chiropractor appointment. The bone cracker. Okay, now then. I found at Walmart a couple of, you know, the accordion window shades that go across your windshield. Well, these are really cheap and they're pretty thin. They're white on one side, and they're, of course, that silver on the other side. Now, they're not as good or thick as Reflectix, but they fit up underneath the frame and on the sides, the sides, they fit on the top, and they fit on the sides of my windows. Y'all, that's amazing. I worked on it yesterday. I haven't gotten them all done. It'll take two to cover the back windshield. And also the black poster board also works great. But I tried the little Reflectix thingies. And even when you put the white side toward the window, you can't see through it. I mean, my windows are pretty tinted. Not enough to not put a covering on. So anyway, it looks like I may have my solution for my window coverings. Now, can you see this? You see those little owls? These are from Walmart. And they're little squares of material and they measure 18 by 21. So they're not gonna cover the whole piece of Reflectix. 
But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hem the little edges with that little iron-on tape and then I'm going to glue them to the inside of my Reflectix. I'm gonna call it Reflectix, y'all. Anyway, I'm gonna glue it to the inside in the center. Now, I just think that that's adorable. Look at those colors. I love it. And what that means is, I'm not gonna be able to fold them up in the accordion thing, because with the fabric and the glue, that's not gonna allow me to do that. But I will find a space like under my cot to um, just lay them flat. Duh, what else? Briefly, um, I went by Marge's yesterday and took her two more gowns. I don't think she's going to be with us very much longer, y'all. And I'm just praying that God has mercy and that she is not suffering, which I don't think she is. She's pretty drugged up. But... Um, they are keeping her very comfortable and Mary Jo and her brother are going to ask the doctor to cut back a little bit on her pain medication to see if she can't be a bit more cognizant. Um, and she also wanted to borrow my cot. See, it's good that I got that because now her brother Joe can sleep on the cot in his mom's room and Mary Jo sleeps on the big couch in there and they can go, they can both be with her. And of course in her room, they have a huge bathroom and shower and everything. They will uh, feed anybody who comes and stays with Marge. I've eaten there several times myself. And, um, you know, it's important that whether we think that someone, whether they're in a coma, whether they are being treated with pain meds, it's important to talk to them and to touch them and to hold their hand because you know what, we don't know what they hear and what they understand. So you can never stop talking and being with someone. And I wanna tell y'all, Marge has a big family and she is so loved and um, She's very, very fortunate to have Mary Jo. And I won't say any more than that because then I will be crying as we well know. So anyway, um, tomorrow's check in the mail and the chiropractor. And um, so I know y'all probably wonder why do I make so many videos in my van? And I'm gonna tell you why. I am very blessed and very appreciative of my room and my bathroom. I am, y'all. But I can't stand to be in there unless it's at night and I'm reading or watching something on Hulu. Poor Terry needs the television on every minute that he is awake. Um, I never was a daytime television watcher. I didn't watch game shows. I rarely ever watched a soap opera. They were just stupid to me. But, um, and no offense, I know there's a lot of ladies out there that like them. And you know, it's um, TV, books, the movies, they're escapism. And I get that. Boy, do I get that. If you're busy with something else, and you're not able to get out, you need as much as you can to keep your mind off of things like pain or worries, anxiety. So um, I 
do not have a problem with his him watching his television at all. It's just that it is not for me. Now, I can't open my blinds in my room because there's a side a sidewalk that's right outside my window and people are there's a door that goes inside i think i showed y'all that in my last video or the one before i don't know but anyway that's why i cannot have my blinds open so i can have daylight and i have lights in my room that i can turn on and trust me when i'm there i have them on but I love, it's a gorgeous day today. It's only supposed to get up in the very low 70s. It is perfect. So I would much rather, let me take your leash off, baby. Let me take your leash off. There you go. So anyway, I would much rather be sitting in my van. Even if I'm sitting in the back seat, reading off my tablet or even using my hotspot and watching Hulu. I mean, I just love it. And I guess that's one of the reasons that van life just appeals to me so much because you can be outside in your home and you are surrounded by windows. You have so much natural daylight and sunshine surrounding you. It's hard not to be pretty happy in that um, aspect. I mean, it works for me. So anyway, you guys, I love you as always. Um, I try to at least acknowledge your comments. I appreciate you so much. And um, I do say a prayer for y'all every day, every day, for your health, your well-being, your happiness, your pain, everything. And y'all know what to do. Do something fun today. Bye, y'all. I'll talk to you later.